My family essentially connects people who are ready to start a family and have kids. Whether you're looking for a romantic relationship or a co-parent or known donors. We help connect people that are looking for sperm donors, egg donors, and surrogates. But instead of uh, anonymous donors, we help you find a known donor. So you get to meet them. The kid has some kind of relationship with them down the road, but the, the primary recipient parents are the legal parents and maintain full rights. The reason I wanted to have Yvonne on is because I love the concept of, as dating apps sort of began maybe like eight years ago, ten years ago, we were all like, okay, this makes perfect sense, right? And at the time, we were all, at least for me, early 20s, and I actually missed the boat because I met Natalia naturally, which sounds crazy, (laughs) in the wilderness. And then... When you brought up your company, I was like, this is so fascinating because it's like the the ultimate long tail, right? It's the ultimate like, oh, wow, this makes perfect sense. It's like the next frontier of online dating. It's like obviously parenting. Yeah. It kind of came about with like, you know, this is right before Tinder came out, like nine years ago or something like that, where we were all on like OkCupid, Match. I, I was living in LA most of my adult life, but I moved back to New York where I'm from the Jersey area originally. And I was living in New York and figuring out where my next move is. I got laid off from a banking job during the financial crisis. And I was out to dinner with a bunch of my girlfriends. We were all like in our 30s. They were all still single, not married, no kids. And they were starting to feel like the pressures of the biological clock. And they were frustrated with, you know, the guys, most of the girls who were like 35 were dating guys in their 20s who were, you know, not ready to settle down, not ready to have kids. Or they were getting hit up by like divorce guys that have kids that don't want more kids. They're all set. Yeah. They just want to have fun. Right. So they're like, I still need to start a family and have a kid. And a couple of them in particular were like looking at alternate options like adoption or using a sperm donor or asking friends if like, you know, if, hey, if we're both 40, like, and we don't have kids or married, yeah, yeah, like, let's yeah. just have a kid together. <laughs> the pact. Yeah, the pact. Basically, yeah. we've all heard this before. I've made a hundred of those. Lovely yeah. For me. And one, one of my friends in particular, she, you know, she would meet guys on OkCupid and go out with them. And after a few drinks at the bar on the first date, she'd be like, I want to have three kids and then over the next five years. And, you know, not exactly what a guy wants to hear on the first date. But she looked right at me and she was like, she's like, Yvonne, I'm going to find someone that feels exactly the same way that I do. And I don't care like where I find them or how it works. And I made a total joke to the table saying, sounds like you're on a different kind of dating site called datinseminate.com. That's funny. <laughs> well, wow. that's everybody. Everybody <laughs> laughed. And a couple of girls laughed and they were like, wait, I would, I would consider joining something like that. And that was kind of like the light bulb moment. And I started like exploring. I was, I was thinking about doing my own thing, trying to you know, start a company and came across the concept of co-parenting. And I saw there was a site back then, it was kind of, it was coparents.com. It was more of a message board site for like LGBT couples, like looking to, for sperm donors or something. And it was based in France. And so all their members were pretty much in France and the UK. And so what I did was I kind of combined that with like what people liked about OkCupid because they like profile pictures, they like compatibility questions. And instead of like sex and dating questions, it was more like parenting questions, lifestyle questions, you know, stuff like, do you see your kids going to public or private school? Like, what kind of health insurance do you have? Like, how do you want to raise your child the same religion that you grew up in? How, how important is that to you? So we'll introduce you to someone that feels the same way. Uh, you know, these days it would be like, are you vaccinated? Uh, are you a Trump supporter? Like that, th- these are things that people like like to know to right. find out if they can they have put a child you in a with bucket. someone. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, and that's kind of how it started. I mean, we we started getting some media attention right away, and they were kind of always labeling it as like meet a stranger and have a baby next week online, and you know it wasn't really that, but it's catchy headline, catchy headline got us some hits, got us some members, and and then we started getting requests for media like all over the world. They're like. How many babies have you had? How many? I'm like, we have like 20 members. <laughs> like we, just, <laughs> we just started. I'm like, we're just launching in like one city right now. But I was getting, we were getting press in like Norway and Sweden and England. Was this and, online? Were you guys online only? Like a website? Just a website. Okay. Yeah. And then people were finding romantic relationships. People were just finding like, hey, especially the media was, when we started doing the talk show kind of circuit, we were on like Anderson Cooper and Katie Couric interviewed me and we were on like Good Morning America. And they were always looking for the straight man, the straight woman that just want to be friends and have a kid together. And I didn't have any example like that. And so the only examples that I found was like a gay man, straight woman, friends, but they're like, oh, that, you know, LGBTs have to do that. That's not a big story. We want to find like the two straight people. So I lost a a couple of opportunities or they took a long time to happen until I was able to find someone like that. Because I found that most 
of the straight people on there, there was an attempt at a romantic relationship. So, you know, there's, there are people finding, they're just finding, they're, they're finding someone like-minded that kind of shares a vision and value system for how they want to raise kids. And they're like, well, I'm, you know, if, I'm, if I like you enough to have a kid with you, I'm relatively attracted to you, then like, l- let's try a relationship. And then the platonic co-parenting aspect was mostly... And I've seen, you know, dozens of these kinds of relationships happen. Uh, the successful ones, it's, it's, it's usually like gay man, straight woman, lesbian couple, a straight guy. As uh, you know, there was another case where we had a guy who, uh, you know, he was probably around 50 or so, and he found a lesbian couple in Florida, and they ended up having two kids, and they live now right next to each other, and like they're like a total modern family, and they're ha- as happy as can be. And I wish, but Emily. Yeah, it's a mod animal. I really, people, some of my friends now are like coining the terms because now they're seeing things like this in their life. One of the girls, my friends, that was an inspiration for the website, she ended up dating a younger guy, getting pregnant, and giving him the option of like, we can still date and you can be the father or you can be my sperm donor and we can just be friends or something like that. And I, I believe he chose just to be friends and the sperm donor. And she had the baby on her own. And then a couple years later, she had, she came back to him to have another baby and he said, yes. And now she has two and he's essentially like a known donor, but they're friends. But you see these different, all these different versions of family. And then my friends are like, it's a madamily. Oh yeah. They madamily it up. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that sounds, now it's a verb. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's a verb. So now, you know, you got something when it's, when you, it's turned into a a, a saying or or how many children is madamily responsible for now? There've been over 300 that I'm aware of. Yeah. I would say half of that is known donors and the other half is, is co-parents and romantic relationships for people. 